All right, guys, welcome to my channel. Right now we're changing the differential fluid on this uh, amazing W124 Mercedes. We don't know the history of when it was lastly, you know, when it was changed last time. So we're doing it um, and it's gonna have a really nice and fresh fluid. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain this differential fluid. It's pretty easy, it's just a 14 millimeter hex key that you have to use. And uh, that's it, I already loosened those up. I actually have to loosen the upper uh, filler bolt first and then you can actually uh, go ahead and loosen the drain plug uh, So always remember to whenever you dr you know whenever you drain or change fluid in your differentials or uh, manual transmission cars always uh, remove the filler uh, Plug first just in case something goes wrong and then you cannot refill it uh, So yeah, make sure you do that and let's get to the business So here we have a drain plug right here and the fill plug is actually on that side and yes the differential is a little bit leaky but it's not a big deal uh it's just seeping slightly uh so um we're gonna go ahead and drain this thing already like i said i already loosened both uh plugs so let's go ahead and do this stuff Okay, fluid wasn't so bad. It was a little bit pretty clean. But who knows when it was changed last and I actually didn't check the level. Maybe it was a little low. Okay, the differential almost is almost done draining. And I cleaned the drain plug and I'm about to reinstall this bad boy. German tight or if you're not sure if you're new look up the torque specs this is where the filler plug is right there I'm gonna take it out and refill the diff this is gonna be really difficult for me to show you but I'm about to refill this bad boy with new fluid Guys, this is how we're doing it. It's kind of difficult. I actually had to lower the exhaust just a little bit off of one of the mounts. Okay. Okay, guys, now you can see it pretty well, okay? I lowered the exhaust and I'm just pushing on that. And uh, I'll get back to you when this thing fills up. All right, one bottle done. And then I'm gonna grab another one. And with another one. That's it guys, she's leaking out. I'm about to install that filler plug. And that's pretty much it. Some cleanup and we're good to go. This is the mount that I removed. I'm gonna put it right back after I clean this differential okay and also make sure you check for leaks make sure nothing is leaking here out of the drain plug which is all good all nice and dry dry as a sand all right perfect
<laughs> Can I open this? So this person just rebuilt this engine not too long ago. Look at those beautiful oil cooling lines and everything on it. That thing is beautiful. He did everything. The whole engine was actually taken apart and rebuilt and uh, it was it's awesome. It, this this engine looks really nice and fresh and healthy. It looks I really like this thing. It looks like it's got new engine mounts and everything. Wow, that, this thing is awesome. And you said you picked it up, it was not running, right? When you picked it up? Yeah. Something like that? It did run. I, it I did? drove it here from Hood River. Gotcha, uh-huh. It, it ran very poorly. Poorly, it ran poorly. But yeah, I'm really glad that you know, you're know you just giving it all its love because these cars deserve it. You know, these cars are awesome. Especially it's a wagon. It's awesome. Wow. Huh. That is amazing. That is amazing. I just always love the rear ends of these cars like so much as well. Yeah, it's crazy. awesome. They don't, they don't make them like this yep. anymore. They don't make the same cars anymore. So I think you need to hold, uh, hold your key a little longer for the glow plug. Because sometimes uh, that's what it does. It, uh... There you go. Yeah, all right, I'm going to close it up. <laughs> Maintenance on this door and the window lubricated everything grease atf that was so nice amazing great and this side was actually missing the door lock actuator which is crazy so the funny thing is that i do have one in stock I'm going to install it here and that's why probably my door locks were not working so we'll get the door locks working again really soon yeah that's awesome 240d